Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more, for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Hi, I'm Dan from George J. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you, and your positive reviews and feedback. We are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures, that means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Go ahead, take a deep breath. 
Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five day money back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more, for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. 
We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Hi, I'm Dan from George A. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you, and your positive reviews and feedback. We are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Third down to give, Montella cuts back up the middle, and he's over a oh. thousand yards, and he's off to the races. Up in the air, blocked down! Don't be in wide open net. Too easy right there. Molly Chapman, she'll take off from the wing. That one's good. Webb trying to get the pin. Here we go. And it goes! The pin flies! That would win it for Warren Hill. Great senior night ceremony here at Lindby Valley High School. A 63 save performance by Casey Connor, the Crimson. And he break his record. Oh, 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 Edwards oh, 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 oh. wins it. First game of your conference schedule. So good, and we're all so pumped and just happy to look. And 
right off the head tonight on more Sussex TV. Good afternoon and welcome to Paramus, New Jersey, here at George W. Hodgins Stadium on the campus of Paramus High School. My name is Zach Small, and I'm here to bring you through all the action in the NJIL Curcio Division between the Paramus Spartans and the Demarest Vikings, both teams with a pair of wins on the season or rather, part of me, the Demarest Norsemen. There we go. And the Paramus Spartans out there. So both myth, uh, clash of some mythical, and actually, I should say, not even mythical, just ancient warriors here. Both looking to pick up their third victory of the year. Bouncing back from, you know, some rocky 2023 20, years, but both seem to be coming around on the up and up. You know, last season for Paramus, missing the playoffs, 6-12. and 12. They had a 10-game losing streak, but then bounced right back after it, 4-2 to end the season, and they now have a really young program here in 2024. And then over on the other side from the Norsemen, they were 4-10 and 10 last year, and they're already halfway to that 2023 win total. They play fairly even the cross. They average 5.8 goals per game and allow exactly six per contest. On the other side of Param, it's a little bit more volatile in their scoring department. 6.8 goals per game, 9.4 allowed this season. But again, a couple of lopsided affairs. Their most recent contest actually came against a very good Homedale squad. They lost that one 19-7, but before that, 6-5 against Lakeland, and they took down Paramus Catholic 15-2 to climb up to 500 prior to that game over around Route 1, or take two, Route 110, exit 110, right over by the John Bon Jovi rest stop over there. And then we take a look at what the Norsemen have been up to under Jason Reynolds, losing the Riverdale 8-2, to then stringing together a pair of wins against Pascac and Indian Hills, respectively, and then dropping a nail-biter against West Mill for 2-1. to So, again, Jason Reynolds has his squad energized, looking up. It's down there in the Morse, uh, Norseman hoodie as we do the fit check here for the head coaches. On the other side, I mean, we were talking about Adam Amon. I mean, look at that. He's got the tie-dye look over for the Spartans and both teams seem to be lined up as we have a coaches meeting here on top of the multicolored blue P right in the middle of the field as we get set and ready to go with these divisional rivals. They played last year and it went in favor of Demarest winning 7-6. to six. Paramus hasn't beat them since 2022. In their last five meetings, Demarest has really owned them 4-1, a 14-8 win in 2016, 16-2 in 2017, to 2019, 14-2. to two. And then, of course, in 22, 8-4 in favor of the Spartans, and the Norsemen won 7-6. to six. Back uh, almost a full calendar year ago, actually. That was April 27th of 2023. So we'll also take a look at today's goaltending matchup. Neil Bernhardt, the junior, 50 saves, 24 goals allowed on the year. And over on the other side for Paramus, we're going to get a look at Gabriel Actemir, the sophomore goaltender. 47 saves, 36 goals allowed as we like to set aside a little bit of time to thank our sponsors. Starting off with ICS, keeping you warm when it's cold and cool when it's hot. Go to ICSHVAC.com for all your comfort needs. It is a gorgeous 70 degrees and sunny here in Paramus, New Jersey. And, of course, this broadcast also brought to you by the Paramus Parents Association. Wow, look at those logos. J Jess and I were talking about this being a traditional logo. That looked like something that was even older than that. Look at that. Built, look at the, the schnozzle on that one. That is an interesting face. And, and I said the new one looked like a political cartoon, but the old one, that's kind of fun. You know what that, that kind of reminds me of? This current Paramus Spartans logo looks like the mid-2000s Baltimore Orioles, very biologically correct. I mean, you see all the facial features here, and then they had the more cartoony one before that and now currently. So I kind of like the ch I would love to see Paramus come out with maybe some throwback hats or something with that old logo because that was really cool what they had going on. As we see now, Demarest lined up over on the left side in blue and in the home whites are the Spartans over on the right. As we're just waiting for our resident DJ up here in the broadcast booth to come back up, it looks like. As it seems like we're waiting for well, I guess it's not really the presentation of colors if nobody's bringing the fa flag on the field. It's right over there on the left side, so. We'll be starting to kick things off in just a moment here at Paramus, here on Big State Sports. We'll be doing all the Paramus football home games this year. 
So if you're interested, I mean, in watching all of those, why not? I mean, if you're watching now, you definitely want to catch some Paramus football. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button. We are rapidly approaching 20,000 subscribers here on our Big State Sports YouTube channel. And you, want to, you won't want to miss any of the new spring action moving on into the fall right after the summer as well. And now we'll turn things over to the public address as we get ready for the national anthem. In a very American display, there was a fan that held up their completely intact Chipotle Bowl, the entire national anthem. They had their right hand on their heart and their left hand cradling that what I believe is a chicken bowl down there over on our right side among the Paramus fan base. All right, we are all set and ready to go here in Paramus, New Jersey. As Demarest, again, out there wearing their blue jerseys on the road with the white helmets and the black shorts. Over on the right side, we will have the Paramus Spartans out there in their white home jerseys with the dark deep sea blue numbers and letters on the front and back. The deep sea blue shorts matching the helmets as well. As I think there's some lighter blue accents over on the helmets. Yes, it's more of a Carolina writing Spartans in block letters on the tie, on the sides right above the cage. Again, both teams just two victories on the season, two and two for the Demarest Norsemen over on the other side for the Paramus Spartans, two and three after dropping one against Homedale a couple of days ago. Trying to pick up another victory here at home. Paramus have lost all three of their games on the road, so they've been perfect here on their home turf. And then over on the other side for Demarest, they split so far away with that one and one record. So again, we welcome you to George W. Hodgkins Stadium here in Paramus, New Jersey. A straight shot up Route 17 for me, the Garden State Parkway to four to 17. Nice, easy drive and a beautiful campus here in Northern Bergen County. And I would imagine for the opening faceoff, we'll probably see the freshman Brickman Tanner And then over on the other side for Paramus, probably see the senior Dan Legron. Legron's won 49% of faceoffs this year. And Brickman has won just 36%. Overall, it's been a little bit of a struggle for Demarest in the faceoff circle, winning just 31% as a team. On the other side for Paramus, they've won 40%. So we'll see who ends up having the advantage. We had the other a game the other day now. There was a bit of a mismatch in talent as well. Just Bernard's very experienced going up against a younger Hillsborough squad. But, I mean, the, the big change in that game, the thing that really gave the Mountaineers the advantage was they just won all the face-offs except for maybe one or two. As we are seeing the Spartans netminder get prepared over on the right side. That's the number 22 of... Ectomir, and on the other side is Neil Bernhardt. Bernhardt, again, 12 and a half saves a game, just six goals allowed, so he's been sensational. Out there to start the season. As it is appearing like we do have our usual suspects there, it is Tanner Brickman. 
over to take the opening face off against Dan Legrone, one of just two seniors on this Paramus squad. So now the officials having a conversation down to the scorekeeper's table. Not 100% sure what that's about. Already had a bit of a delay with the officials being a smidge late to the contest. So I guess what's a, another minute or so. Although now I'm starting to see might be Dylan Joyce there. Yes, it is. It is Joyce going to take the opening face-off. Joyce has won 12 of 30 face-offs to 40%. So maybe Coach Ahmad just wanted to take a little bit of a different look here. A couple of young players now over on the face-off X. As again, the official having an elongated discussion down on the scores table. I guess, you know, wanted to tie up any loose ends and make sure everything goes on without a hitch. Before we get rolling here, Big State Sports up here in Bergen County, New Jersey, in Paramus. And again, a divisional matchup, but these two teams will only play each other once this season. So we'll have one opportunity to keep things moving as we'll take a quick look at the Kershaw division led by West Milford, 2-0 in the division, but 3-3 three three overall. Paramus right behind them at 2-3, and three, undefeated in the division, 1-0. Westwood is 1-1 one one with a 3-2 and two record in third. Wayne Hills down there at 2-3, 1-1 one 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 in the division. Lakeland, 1-1 one one in the division, 1-4 on the year. And Demera sitting at 2-2. Two two. They've lost their only divisional contest. And I have a minus one goal differential. They've played a lot of close games. Paramus, minus 13. Actually, the division leader, minus 10 in West Milford. The only team with a positive goal differential in the division is Westwood. They're plus eight, and they're currently sitting tied for third place. In a very crowded NJILL. And now they're calling the players off the field for a moment. So we'll step aside as things get organized here at Big State goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. Okay, so we found out the issue here. The, the, score, the big scoreboard isn't working as the initial draw is collected here by the Spartans who will be going from right to left in the opening quarter. The number 23 of Mikey Ricard, the junior captain, and also their leading scorer, starting to facilitate. So all the credit going to Jess Carfello. He's going to do his best to, to keep the time here. They're keeping the time down on the field. So again, facilitated by Mikey Ricard, 17 points leading the team. Also has 27 ground balls, which leads the team as well, as they settle in around the outside. Spencer Schechter, the sophomore attacker. Back to Ricard. Over on the other side for Dylan Joyce. Not a lot of cuts to the inside so far for Paramus. So we have a quick head fake trying to disposition Cody Weiss, the sophomore defender. Now they work their way through. Mark Gass. 
As the ball's back down on the ground, a diving stop, but it is recovered by Tanner Brickman. So here comes Brickman racing ahead, stays inside the boundary, and now he's in over toward the 20 yard line unabated. Swing over to the outside. So after winning the opening draw, Paramus call things right back up. As here's Ryan Schuyler. And Skyler for Demarest, nine points on the year. Tied for the team lead. Again, not a very high scoring team. They play a lot of close, grinded out defensive games, this Demarest Norseman team. Brian Finetto leads the team with six goals. Marcus White right behind him with five. As we do have one, not two flags down. Fire to the outside. So a man up situation forthcoming for Demarest. Taken behind by Skyler. Skyler, swing shot. Oh, what a stop there by the 22 of Actimir. But unfortunately for Paramus, we're going to have ourselves a man down situation. So I heard 30 seconds for a hold. As we're going to be keeping our ears out here. So it'll be 30 second man up situation here for Demers over there in blue. And we started off by Jackson Dickstein, the junior. Swings up to the top to Yahalomi. Now pop back behind the net to Skyler. And we're going to have to go down there and see if we can get this roster corrected. A lot of different numbers there. So we'll swing that around at halftime. As the international man of mystery, the number 49 down low, was swinging around. Now they take a point blank shot, another stop. Leg save there made by Actimir. He's already got two. Now Actimir waiting, stretch pass over towards midfield, nearly intercepted. It's back down on the ground and recovered by Anand Bakru. So the senior will work things ahead. Move a long stick player now playing up top. And we do have a flag down, so the man up situation is over. But another one, it seems like it's going to be coming up. Bakru. Waiting for it and passing it away to the 49. Now for Skyler, the senior. Back for the Demarest 49. Now some aggressive defense by X. Over up top. Long stick number 20 of Drew Renner. Getting that stick in the air, making himself big over by the crease. Back over to goal line extended, still scoreless here. In the first three minutes of this contest between Paramus and Demarest. Now another pop over down low. Looking for the sharp angle look, not gonna do anything too hasty here. Just popped up, goes over the stick and it'll roll away, but again it's recovered by the Norseman. The Norseman with a methodical attack so far. Again, looking to swing. Now popped up top. Quick shot down low. Score! We get a shot up top from the point. That's Ryan Schuyler. And he's in there for the first goal of the contest. So they thought about a couple of sharp angle looks here. But ultimately, look at all this real estate they give the 49. And then he's able to swing it up top to Schuyler, who throws it in. So goal number one. 40 from 49, and if that is Skyler's goal, with the numbers being correct, that would be his fifth of the season, and he is the first player on the Norseman to go up ahead and reach 10 points on the year. Both teams have really struggled on the faceoff so far, but it looks like we get the Spartans picking up for the second time in a row. They coughed it up the last time. Here's Drew Renner. As he feeds it ahead, finding the 23 of Mike of Shane Mancuso. Now he's going to make his presence known a little bit further over on the far side of the field. For Paramus Mancuso, a goal or two goals and one assist on the season. As he drops that one and then is able to wiggle away from the oncoming defender. Back over to the outside of Joyce. Joyce cradling. Cody Weiss waiting in front. Now he looks to charge in, two defenders pinching on him. Not a lot of movement through X so far for this offense and a little bit of sloppy passing, but Paramus eventually able to recover. Now for Schechter. Schechter waiting, looking for cuts. We get a wild shot 
And it's that swung away from the sophomore midi, Dylan Joyce, and Paramus will get it right back. And around seven and a half minutes left to go here in quarter number one on Big State Sports. And Demer is currently leading one nothing on top of Paramus. Mark Gass, spin move, Gass feeds to the outside, right to the middle, another shot. And that'll whistle wide, but you can see the velocity coming from Mikey Ricard, big reason why he's got those nine goals so far on the season. Some dance moves inside, another shot, and that'll whistle away. Not needing to get a piece of it there is Bernhardt, but he's had a couple of close calls just wide of the post. Paramus working on the far side, longest possession they've had so far in this contest. Ricard swings away for Dylan Joyce. Joyce dancing his way through the defense, gets it swatted away. Now kicks the ball forward and nearly recovered by the 14 of Lucas Sands. They're still battling for it over by the boundaries. Tick gets slammed down. Ricard tries to pop up with it and ultimately it is Lucas Sands with a long stick able to recover deep in his team's own territory. So a big possession plays, it's right back down. Scrambling ahead, a lot of ball downtime so far in this contest as they nearly sweep it back in and a nice check late will secure possession for Paramus. Good instincts by the sophomore attacker to slam his man out of the way as the ball continued to dribble towards the boundary. Paramus with some good looks, just not quite on net so far. Now another shot down low and denied. As the junior with his first save. So all in all, a really successful possession for Paramus. A lot of shots, a lot of intensity, just couldn't find their way around Bernhardt. Demers working on the fly now, sending Jackson Dixon back out there. as well as some more attack help. Dick Stein with Joe Aiello waiting in front. Or part of me, that was Joseph Zacco, the number four wearing defender. Joe Aiello committed the only full-time infraction in this game. So this one now back behind, Demarest. Trying to clamp down on defense, pass across, they wait, they wiggle, they look for the pop shot and this is denied. By the 22 of Actamiri got a piece of it. Shot was an on goal, but still did enough to move things away and get that out of the danger zone. One of the captains, Drew Renner, doing a nice job sticking on the offending Norseman. Once again, down low near the crease, shuffling towards goal line extended. Now the pass X a little high but still gathered down by Skyler. Now it's loose down in front of the crease, regathered by Skyler, looking for a cut to the inside, but the Norseman unable to take advantage of the chaos. Working it back around the perimeter. Yahalomi. Skyler. Now we get a pinch and move from Minervini. 4.13 left here in the first, a very low scoring affair. A long feeling out period for these two sides. As we hear some plays being called over from the Demarest side, now back up top. Again, really tight defense coming from the Spartans. And just trying to force this offense to wear themselves out a little bit with these passes around. Now they look over on the outside, bounce shot, and that'll ricochet away from the facilitation from Jackson Dickstein. Now it'll spin away. Dixon will be the first one to it. Clock continues to run right around three and a half minutes left to play. Another long possession coming through. Not making a lot of mistakes on their passes so far are the Norsemen. Really clean looks. If their shots are wide, they're the first one to it towards the boundary. So they continue to rotate around the perimeter. Good sealing up on the inside and now forced away by the 22 of Actimir. Actimir's got four stops and just one goal allowed, so he's really done a nice job so far in there. Go, 
Identical play call on the last move coming from Demarest. As the Spartans continue to lock him down. Back from X in this one nothing affair. Now the aggression on defense starting to show, although they gave up a little bit of a gap over on the near side post. Now another shot, it's forced up high. And actamir has got five saves in the early going. Sophomore netminder averaging just under 10 saves per contest. Already halfway there here in the first. A lot of solid shots coming from the Norsemen, but only one getting around the brick wall of the number 22 is now this is forced out. But once again, Skyler the first one there. Shot blocked that time by Theo Parides. Good look from the freshman defender. Now again, tap dancing towards the net, swinging over to the outside. Back by X, here's Dick Stein. Feeds up top, another shot, another save. How about this sophomore out here today? Just doing everything, laying his body on the line to keep this a close contest. So we get inside the final two minutes of the first. Little wiggle to the inside, a couple of stick whaps there. Coming off the number four of Joseph Zacco. Back on the far end of the goal line extended. The Norsemen have really controlled this first quarter, save one long possession by Paramus where they had a couple of opportunities. Just couldn't really get many shots on that. Only one save, and only one save necessary for Bernhardt on the other side as this pass will go way wide. And we'll loop up. I guess they're gonna count it as a shot. As they'll keep it here for Demarest. From Dick Stein over to the 49. As he's getting some pressure. Now they give him some space over to the inside, up top for Skyler. Over along the end, the defense collapsing on top and laying their man down. Looked like he was gonna have a good shot chance there and the Spartans defense said absolutely not. They're kind of looking like the end of Zack Snyder's movie 300, those kinds of Spartans. Just with that rounded shield dome right around the net. Some spectacular defense going on from Paramus. But still haven't been able to force any turnovers and pick up a lot of ground balls over in their defensive end. We get a low shot, easiest save of the day so far for Actimir. Now let's see if they can turn this into a possession here late in quarter number one. Another stretch pass over in the offensive zone and it's collected by Ricard. Ricard shuttles ahead. And now back down on the ground is Schechter. And Schechter still trying to grab it. He's got it with under 30 seconds left. And once again, coughing it up. So Pram is having a difficult time on offense with their crisp passing. Well, they sandwich their man over to the inside, still not giving it up. And that's going to force a timeout from Demarest as they want to hang on to possession. So I think we'll have about 15 seconds left when we come back from the timeout. One nothing so far. Scored by the number 40 of Skyler for Demarest. It's his fifth of the season. But right now the storyline of the game has been Gabriel Actimir. I mean, seven saves here in just one frame. Although that does speak to a larger issue on offense for the Spartans. They get the ball, but then they really haven't quite known what to do with it. Over on their side of the field, they've given up a lot of ground balls, a lot of takeaways for Demarest, who have moved the ball substantially better so far here on the road where they've split so far one and one. And your fans, they get greedy out there. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really hurt the Spartans to get overly aggressive here. The ball's gonna start over in their offensive end, although they won't have possession. So we'll see if they can force a quick turnover and get it on over to one of their playmakers. I heard 13 seconds down there. So now a race ahead from Bakru. Bakru now over midfield. 
Back to the right side. Here's Dickstein. Dickstein on the ground. This is dramatic with the PA calling the, the final seconds. That's kind of what we got going on here. As we wrap up quarter number one, Demarest one, Paramus nothing, although spectacular defense from the home side Spartans. When we come back, we'll have more action right here on Big State. Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five day money back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. You know what was cool? At the end of that ad, there was like a countdown, and I think Jess just perfectly synchronized with it too. So, I mean, exquisite work from, I, I almost said William Patterson grad, almost William Patterson grad, although he's certainly acting like one right now. We've got a lot of impressive William Patterson students here at our network at Big State. I think right now, in terms of numbers, they might be, well, besides CCM students, for four-year institutions, it's like Willie P. and Ithaca, my alma mater, vying for those high numbers. As here comes Ricard, trying to add to his high numbers in scoring. He's got 17 points on the season as Ricard slings it up top. Now gives it over to Dylan Joyce. Let's see if we get a clean possession here from Paramus. They've struggled early with some of their passing. And despite a lot of turnovers on offense, I mean, they've won all three face-offs so far today. Go, go, White! And have played some spectacular defense. Now they just need this phase of the game to start to pick it up. Clergis cutting to the inside. As the ball comes loose, still battling for it. As DeStillberger was trying to jam things up. Now Mark Gass, he's got nine assists on the year. Up top, Ricard. Finding Joyce. Joyce crashing in and defenders down. Now Joyce has to dance around a second one, but Stillberger did a nice job filling the gap there. Now they look. Gasling score! What a shot by Mark Gass, his fourth goal of the season. And Paramus have tied things up at one. So let's see this again. It started before the defender going down. And Ricard just sees a little bit of an opening. Look at all that real estate Gas has to take that shot. And goes over the shoulder, six side. That one coming from Ricard. That is his ninth assist of the season. He's got 18 points now. And we're all tied up at one apiece here in Paramus. So junior to sophomore connection, the midi to the attacker. And still perfect in the faceoff X are the Spartans. So again, they've got a lot of advantages going for them. They just got to clean up. Their offense, as the ball kicked away on the ground, Ricard's got it, though. He had 27 ground balls coming into the game. As he leads the team now in every single category outside of face-off statistics. Back on offense. You know, the ground balls, too, as this pass goes away. And Paramus once again cough up the possession. But again, looking very good to start things off here in the second quarter. Burnhout. And now they go from the stretch pass over from Max Brickman as he heaves it deep. Now it's back down on the ground, regathered. And Bakru's got it. Nearly gets it slammed away. It looks like we'll have a slash call. We'll see how much time 
That penalty ends up being inside. We have two flags down, and the whistles blow, so I guess we'll see how much time they want to give out and what are the different infractions that will be doled against the Spartans. As they'll be playing without at least Denny Halk. All right, minute and a half of one man down. Both infractions coming there on Denny Hat. Man, I love an official that communicates that crisply. I mean, we do have the microphone out there, but I can hear me without it. So another man up situation for Demarest. They're 0 for 1 on the day in those spots. And not the worst in the world for Paramus. They'll be down an attackman for this stretch. So it's not like they're losing a defender as Bakru will help swing things around. Bakru again over to Skyler with the only goal in the game. Now to their 49. They've got plenty of time here to move things around with the man advantage. Beautiful point, Blake. Look, shot, score. Arisla Tellis Pelioris, the senior. Say that five times fast as he's able to cash in for his first goal of the contest. So Palioris just gets this gorgeous connection coming from the number nine of Jackson Dickstein as Dickstein picks up his first assist of the game, his third of the year. And right back on top is Northern Valley Demarest as the man up is over. And right off the face off once again, perfect our Paramus, but have seldom been able to take advantage of these. Five for five so far in face-offs. As they feather it over to Clergis. Clergis right side from Gas. Now tucking down on one knee, Mancuso. Mancuso now with two on. I Means somebody's open. So we have some really tight defense coming in from Max Brickman. Can't quite find it on the drop. Faints the pass. Now feeds it over to the top side. Or rather, the far side for Joyce. Joyce cutting in. A trio of defenders. Joyce still cradling. Should score. What an individual effort by Dylan Joyce. As he'll have his team jumping for Joyce. We're tied at two. And just watch what Joyce is able to do here. Fakes the pass, moves things around incredibly well. And then draws not one, not two, but three defenders. Gets around all of them. And is able to find the back of the net. So now two apiece of Paramus with a chance to pick up some momentum just three minutes into the contest. Or rather, three minutes into the second frame of the contest. As the first face-off going in favor of the Norsemen, a little sloppy, but they still got it. Palioris, who has the most recent goal now for Demarest. We'll start things off, the number 19. Now they wait for the rest of the offense to start to fill in. Big game in the Curcio division. As if Paramus wins, they'll be tied for first with West Milford. And if Demarest wins, they'll join a very crowded tie for what will then be second place because Paramus will be one and one. A bunch of teams at one and one. Shot goes way high, but right back there to recover is Dick Stein. Pump to the outside. Now we're starting to see the Norsemen move a little bit quicker that we've seen him in the past play with some urgency. Bounce shot collected. And that's a nice grab that time by Actimir. He's got his eighth save as we have a long stretch pass. Now here comes Ricard. Ricard unabated coming towards the net. Another shot score! Mikey Ricard, his second point of the game, 10th goal of the season. And did he get that immediately from the netminder? I think he did. Yeah, look at that. The rare goaltender assist. So actimir has been doing it all here today. He's got eight goals, and now he's got himself an assist on his ledger. I mean, why not? Look at all the space the 23 had. Racing ahead, the defense failed to collapse. And, I mean, if there's anybody that you got to keep your eye on, it's the 23 on Paramus and Ricard just getting the job done. So here at home, the Spartans with their first lead, and they win another faceoff. 
Silvio Fernandez was facilitating. Back over for Ricard. Fernandez creating some space over on the far side. Calling for it, and it looks like he's going to get subbed out real quick. And it's just slinging in the 21 of Dylan Joyce. Gas with two on. Ricard now entering his Clergis. He'll take it from Gas right back up top. Ricard looking for soft spots in the defense. They move Clergis inside. Now two defenders being drawn back to X. Now right through Joyce with the shot, and that hits a bevy of sticks. Not the goaltenders, though. And Paramus will hang on to it. Approaching the halfway point here in the second quarter. Paramus with all three of their goals here in this frame after a slow start. Now another crash in Ricard with a little bit of space. Long shot and a save. And now it's still down on the ground, battling for it. And now it's flailed loose back behind the net and gathered up by the 24 of Schechter. Never giving up on the play, Spencer Schechter, even after it was inside of the stick over there for Bernhout. And now we'll have a timeout on the field. And a lot of momentum coming for the Spartans. We'll step aside here in Big State. Paramus up 3-2. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. All right, back in action here after the timeout. Paramus looking to get their largest lead of the game. This is their first lead of the game, up three to two. And it's thanks to that man, Gas, who tied things up at two apiece. Ricard had a big goal. Now Gas with the shot deflected away, chopped down, still loose in front of the crease, is still down on the ground, and ultimately gathered by the junior netminder of Bernhout. So Bernhout able to collect it, pick up the ground ball, and we'll keep things moving. Tanner Brickman will take things in. Brickman, a feed ahead to Skyler. Right around 6-11 remaining here in the, the first half. Paramus again undefeated at home to start the year. And a victory would bring them halfway to last season's win total. Both teams looking to rebound after tough 2023 seasons. And again, right off to some good starts. Skyler fakes the shot. Now it ends up back behind. Swept aside and regathered by Bakru. But some challenges coming ahead from Joyce. Now the ball down on the ground again. For Brickman, that's Tanner Brickman. Tanner Brickman again. As his brother Max somewhere out there. Or actually, he's back on defense, pardon me. Long stick defender of Minervini. Gets himself involved. Back for Tanner Brickman. Feeds up top, waits, fakes the long shot, and then opts to go to the top side. 5.07 left here in the second quarter here in Paramus. Back on the ground, right by point blank. Oh, what a stop. I can't tell exactly who A was able to stop it. Jess, why not give it to the netminder? We can do that, right? That's fun. 
Make it number nine. I mean, it looked like he kind of chopped down at it at the very end. Is this girls flag football that's coming up next? Oh man, let's go. Last year we did a lot of flag football. We haven't had any booked yet for us, but I, we gotta get back into that. It's a ton of fun. One of the faster growing sports here in the state of New Jersey. It's really on track to becoming a varsity sport. I mean, it's just a great time for girls and women's sports generally. But particularly in the state of New Jersey. Next season, girls hockey going to be an official sanctioned varsity sport. So we'll start to see that scene explode after we had a great state championship. Now slammed down and gathered up by Paramus, but again, struggling for control here defensively. Still moving around and ultimately picking it right back up is Minervini, and then picked up again by Bakru. So again, losing those ground balls, a lot of aggressive play, particularly on the inside for both of these teams. Another fake shot from Palioris. Bakru. Heaves ahead on the far side, over on their left wing. Oh, that would have been a gorgeous feed, but a little high for Palioris there. So Paramus has got it out with 3.23 left here in the first half. They're up by one. They've scored all three of their goals here in the second quarter. Over to Ricard, the 23. Ricard waiting, knows that he can take his time here. As although, I mean, not exactly a, enough time to hang on for the last shot, but they certainly want to milk this clock and do anything they can to at least get in halftime with one goal lead. Of course, we'll be much happier with at least two. Back for Gas. Gas thinks about passing to X. They do have a wide open man over at X. So we get a cut to the inside from the five of Clergis. Now a shot and down on his knees. Another save for Neil Bernhout. It's just his second of the day. But both of them have come in incredibly opportune times for the Norsemen. Now bouncing to the outside. Oh, a bit of a sloppy pass there. Potentially an opportunity for the Spartans to crash back in. Now Pram is forcing a wild pass, but ultimately picked up by Kawaja. And it ends up down and away. And now Paramus will scoop it back up with about two minutes left. Paramus on the perimeter. Joyce to Ricard. Now Gas jukes to his left, waits, slings, and that one goes away. But not a bad idea there. Again, pulling the defenders, but Maybe a little late on that release, goes wide. Didn't have a lot of space to take that shot. Goals coming from Gas, Joyce, and Ricard, the three for Paramus. And on the other side, Skyler and Pelioris. And comes off a pass now, so it gets picked up by Northern Valley Demarest. 3-2 lead, 135 left here in the first half. As they challenge him for it, ball back down on the ground, and I don't see a whist, or we don't see a flag down here, so it just looks like they'll keep the possession. So we'll see if Demers can hold on to things in the final 90 seconds or so. And tie things back up, headed into halftime. We get a speed ahead from Cody Weiss. Weiss, low pass, but still gathered. Now to Selberger. Joseph Zacco trying to keep the stick in front. 112 left. Skyler, nowhere to go. Feathers back up top. And now over along the near side. Back from X here from Demres, working methodically, trying to hang on. 
down by one in unfamiliar territory in this game. They led for so much time. The entire, really the entirety of the first quarter and then a good portion here of the second, but then going on a bit of a tear and scoring three goals was Paramus as we get another big time pickup. 10 saves for Actamir. Right around 30 seconds left to go. Race ahead from Joyce. Joyce waits, gas shot blocked down. And the ground ball recovered by Gas. Gas up top. Finds Clergis. Ricard. Getting it over to their playmakers. Ricard off the pick. And now back behind the net. I thought something more was going to come from that pick. They look to pass in front. Rolling down. And we've got a check in the crease. Paramus is going to hang on. And they'll have just about eight seconds to do something with it. They'll go to Mancuso to start things off, or rather Ricard now. They switch things over. Ricard up top. Premise looking for one more shot here. Clergis right inside. Clergis takes a shot, and it's just a little wide, and that's how we'll end things here in quarter number two. Paramus with three goals, despite no man-up chances, as Northern Valley Demarest is able to go one for one and score a goal here to make it a three-to-two affair heading into the half here at Paramus High School. We'll be back with more on Big State Sports. Goes over the stick, and it'll roll away, but again, it's recovered by the Norsemen. The Norseman with a methodical attack so far. Again, looking to swing. Now popped up top. Quick shot down low. Score. We get a shot up top from the point. That's Ryan Scott. Nothing affair now. The aggression on defense starting to show, although they gave up a little bit of a gap over on the near side post. Now another shot. And it's four step high. And Actimir's got five saves in the early going. Sophomore netminder average. Joyce, Joyce crashing in and defenders down. Now Joyce has to dance around a second one, but the Stillberger did a nice job filling the gap there. Now they look, gas, sling score! What a sh Back crew again over to Skyler with the only goal in the game. Now to their 49. They've got plenty of time here to move things around with a man advantage. Beautiful point play, look, shot, score! open so we have some really tight defense coming in from Max Brickman can't quite find it on the drop faints the pass now feeds it over to the top side or rather the far side for Joyce Joyce cutting in a trio of defenders Joyce still cradling shoot score what an individual effort by Dylan Joyce elected and that's a nice grab that time by Actimir. He's got his eighth save as we have a long stretch pass. Now here comes Ricard. Ricard unabated coming towards the net. Another shot. Score! Mikey Ricard, his second point of the My family owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three star. President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, 
Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown.
For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more, for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective. And the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Hi, I'm Dan from George J. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you, and your positive reviews and feedback. We are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. All right, welcome back to George W. Hodgkins Stadium here in Paramus, New Jersey, where it is currently 68 degrees just right around sundown, and that's brought to you by ICS, keeping you warm when it's cold and cool when it's hot. Go to ICSHVAC.com for all your comfort needs. And this broadcast is brought to you by the Paramus Parent Association, built on tradition, cultivated through excellence. And again, I love that throwback logo. Bring that back, please. I would gladly wear a hat or a t-shirt with that logo on it. That's insane for the Spartans who are currently leading this one by a score of three to two. Good news, we've got the uh, the numbers right now for our friends at Demarest. So Marcus White wears the number 25, Ethan Kim is the 26, and Brett Finetto, who had an assist, wears the number 49. So Finetto and Dickstein with assists, goals scored by Palioris and Ryan Schuyler. And over on the other side for Paramus, goals from Mark Gass, Dylan Joyce, and Mikey Ricard. Ricard's got two points. He also has an assist. And again, another big story here is Gabriel Actemir. He's got an assist and, oh, by the way, 10 saves. All coming in the first half. As Paramus have looked a lot cleaner since that first quarter. Joyce, flip pass. Back behind for Ricard. Now he's got it. Loads up and then opts to slow things down here. As we already have a minute ticking off here in the second half in Paramus. Lights are on, taking effect as twilight beginning to envelop the skies here in northern Bergen County. Zach Smolin chilling with you on Big State Sports. Jess Carfalo on the ones and twos. And Caitlin Langan, our associate producer, your eye in the sky today. Missing doing some camera work, so coming back in the field. Always a good time. Here's Ricard now back by X, looking for some space. Finding Mancuso. And now Joyce looks for the sidearm look. Staunch defense by the Norsemen as they force him to the outside. Here's Gas, though. Trying to change to fit his container. Gas to Mancuso. As he finds... Schechter back to Ricard. Now a long shot from way downtown. And I mean, why not? They weren't giving anything to the inside. So George just decides to pull the trigger. And no harm, no foul as they'll continue to possess the ball here. 
been a two-minute possession for Paramus. Something that we've mostly been seeing this game coming from the Norsemen. Now Gas loses control. Right back with it. And gives it for Joyce. Joyce. Ricard. Fakes right, goes left. Now back to his right. And forced to feed over to Gas. Gas chokes up on the stick, cradles. Now waits and heaves it over to X. Joyce, right back to Gas. Ricard has some real estate in front, but he's way on the outside. They give it back over to him on the point. Little extra connection coming from to Stellberger. As they swing it away from Mancuso behind the uh, right back behind the net for Joyce. 12 to 21. Now to Ricard from Gas. Fum fakes over to the left side, faked like he was going over to Schechter. And now another shot goes down low, balls loose right over on the edge of the crease, still working for it. And Bernhout is able to come out on top with save number three. It's at 30% for this game. On the other side, 83.3 on the save percentage. Over for Actimir. He's been unbelievable between the pipes for Paramus. It's now the Norsemen battling hard for it. Now they've chopped the ball away. And if there's anything that the Norsemen have been really good at this game, it's just been jostling that ball loose during a Paramus possession. As we see a body go flying over by the sideline, that was the 11 of Cody Weiss. So we play on now, facilitated by Dickstein. He's got an assist. He's got three on the season now. As again, Demarest, a light scoring team, under six goals. Although it's a little odd because only playing one more game was Paramus. And they average a full goal per game more, but only one. And But it does seem like this Demarest team plays this game a little bit slower. Now to Finetto. Finetto dancing around his defender. Fakes over to the inside. Now still chokes up. Here on the cradle as he works himself back to the point. Moving around two defenders as now Matt Carmona sticking on him. Pass to the far side of your screen. Back to X. Now running over to the near end. Racing around Marcus White, the sophomore. White. Working it back up top. As again, the lights blaring down, really starting to take effect. Here at Hodgson Stadium. Now a jump, no shot. Finetto gets it down on the ground. Skyler, and that one goes away. Again, both teams looking to get back, well, for Paramus to 500 to get above 500. Looking for that are the Norsemen. As Demarest were a game above 500 after their third game of the season, beating Indian Hills, and then again losing to division leaders West Milford by a slim margin back on the 13th. Finetto, oh, just a little wide. Finetto had a great look there. Only about two yards away from the post and just missed that one wide. Now Paramus the first one to it, so the Spartans will take over. The view takes under seven minutes left here in the third quarter. And if you're enjoying this broadcast here on Big State Sports, we encourage you to subscribe. And also, if you want your game broadcasted here with our professional commentary and all the bells and whistles of the production, email george at bigstatesports.com, or you can email me too. I can make it happen. Zach at bigstatesports.com as well. Or click the link in the description as we have another shot go wide. Turf goes puffing up in the air. Oh, this is fun. So I've got, I could probably move it. I've got a screen in front of me, but looking through the screen and looking through the open window is like looking in, from standard definition over to, you know, a little 4K over to the side. It is liftable. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I don't know. I'm always afraid with windows that, especially press boxes I'm unfamiliar with. So I always feel like I'm going to break something. 
But now, no. Now I'm seeing the game in beautiful 4K. And a gorgeous evening in northern New Jersey. Halfway through the third quarter now. Dylan Joyce slowing things down, signaling for some cuts to the inside. Joyce, spin move over to his left. Now off a of faux pick, inside draws two defenders. There's gas up top. As the 25 of Marcus White peels. Now Juke move over to the inside. White pinches in on him. There's gas open up top. He's got Ricard over on his right side. Ricard with two points today. Moving through, popping it over by the post on the far side end. Now back by X and ball gonna go the other way. As a solid force outside by Max Brickman moved him to the over along the end. Now again, running through over across the 30. Ricard waits, cradles, works inside. Now pops the stick away, swim moves it. Five minutes. As he regathers. I thought for sure he was going to get another opportunity inside. As we will get a timeout coming from Paramus. Paramus looking good here in a scoreless third quarter. And they'll possess it right after this and after the timeout on Big State Sports. It's so cold. My fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Back in action here with under five minutes left to go in the third quarter. No score so far here in the second half, although Paramus has really dominated possession. Ricard, Gas, waits, stutter steps, another spin. Ricard is open at the point. Gas really wants it though and takes the sling. And that'll go away. And it looks like they're awarding possession over to Demaras. I'm, I'm, I'm just as puzzled as the fans. Jess, you've seen a little bit more than me. Is there a reason that Demers should have had that? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know. I guess they're going to say that Burnhout somehow just got out of the crease with lightning speed right as it went out of play. As now they struggle to get into the zone. Still down on the ground. And a good recovery that time by the 40 of Skyler. Tanner Brickman off to the outside, feeding Marcus White. White back to Brickman. Now pinching in as Minervini, the junior captain on defense. Back from goal line extended to X, Dick Stein. Works it around over to the far end. Now back down low, another shot. Oh, just through the five hole and score. 
A rare miss on the bounce there from Actimir. And a great goal by Demarest has tied it up at three. So we see Dick Stein here using his eyes, guiding it far. And then over there from Marcus White. As he's able to connect from Skyler. So Skyler, his second point. And Marcus White, his first goal of the game. So despite dominating possession, really the entire third quarter, the only goal of the frame right now belonging to the Norsemen. That's good advice from the fans. Getting the ball certainly helps you succeed. Ricard now over up top. So we look for Marcus White's numbers on Demarest. That is the sixth goal of the season. Tying in for the team lead with Brett Finetto. And then for Skyler on the assist. He now has 11 points leading the team. He has a six assist to go along with those five goals. Ricard. Paramus looks to answer here late in the third. Very low scoring affair here in Paramus, New Jersey and a gorgeous athletic complex. There's Ricard inside and what a split save that time by Bernhout. Bernhout hasn't been very busy, but he's made four saves today, especially when he's needed them. Demers coach's call for a cross check, won't get it. Now nearly forced away is Tanner Brickman. Staying tenacious though, the freshman doing a great job despite under severe duress. As we've got a timeout coming over on Demarest's side. All right, so timeout on the field, timeout on the broadcast. We'll, we'll pay some bills on Big State. Come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. All right, here we go. 2.13 left in the third. Paramus and Demarest all knotted up at three. And Demarest in possession after scoring the most recent goal. Coming through from Marcus White, his sixth of the year. From Ryan Schuyler's sixth assist of the season. Big action here on Big State, here in the Curcio Division, the NJILL. A lot of NJILL action coming up for you. Later on in the week, next week, I mean, we've just got, it's a full slate of bangers. It's exactly what you're looking for. As we got a turnover here and twisting around the 20 of Drew Renner. Renner playing keep away. Now back down on the ground, evolving into a hockey game. And still looking for diving down to keep it in. Where's the penalty? And it sounds like we've got a 10 second going against the Spartans, so it'll go the other way. Yeah, let's see what we got coming up for you. So much lacrosse action here on the docket on Big State Sports. So today the 16th. Tomorrow we've got Morristown Mendham. That's going to be a good one. Geographic Rivals at 6.30. And Senior Night. And that'll be off. Oh, yeah, you know you're doing well. You got Dan Cleary on that call. So you got to tune in for that one. Also on the 17th, we've got Hackettstown, North Warren softball. North Warren's got a really good athletic complex up there. Joel Kanye on the call for you there. 
So you got two veteran broadcasters tomorrow, softball and boys lacrosse. Right here on Big State Sports. You won't want to miss any of the action. If you want to make sure, you know, you might have heard me there. But if you have forgot to write it down, don't worry. Just subscribe. Hit that bell button for all the alerts. As we have the ball back at midfield, with under a minute left to go here in the third. Recovered now by Demarest. As I look to turn things around. Spilling it over to Pelioris. He had the second goal of the game. Now Finetto. Back behind for Skyler. Skyler with aggressive goaltending coming through from Actimir. Now another shot. Goes down low. What a stop by Actimir. Save number 11 for the sophomore. Now still plenty of time for Paramus. Here's Ricard. Ricard over on his right side, blazing through the defense and goes about a foot wide of the near side post. Paramus will pick things up with about 18 seconds left. Ten, nine, and with eight seconds left, another turnover. So we'll more than likely end this quarter all tied up. Long heave downtown, bouncing through all the way towards the end zone, out of play, and that'll close things out here in the third quarter. 3-3 three, three tie, another shutout quarter for Demarest. They've been consistent, one goal per quarter. As for Paramus, nothing since the second, as we'll head into the final frame of action right after this on Big State. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Back here on Big State Sports, all tied up at three. We got a thrilling interdivisional rivalry matchup coming here between Paramus and Northern Valley Demarest. As we have another turnover, and Paramus will pick things up with Joseph Zacco. Zacco getting through a series of hits, continuing through midfield down, and Ricard, it goes loose. And another errant pass here, coming back to bite Paramus. They starting to play like they did back in the first quarter where they seemed a little unsettled. And the Norsemen have taken full advantage. Marcus White, who had the equalizer a few moments ago back in the third. Skyler, trying to cut inside. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's been really tough to get around Minervini. Minervini, the number 10 captain. Junior over on defense. I mean, it's been tough. I mean, just even being near him. He punishes you. So now we get another run in. Shot down low. Little pass to the inside. They penetrate the goal shot and score. Up top look. Marcus White with two goals in a row. And the sophomore has given Demarest the lead yet again. It's 4-3. to three. Demarest scores with 10 minutes and 54 seconds remaining. 
This is just a great distribution in the inside. So watch the 25 right now. He's right on the end of that arc, makes the cut in, and is able to spin around one defender. And a big time look coming down from Brett Finetto. That's his second assist. So Finetto now up to five assists on the season. He's now got 11 points on the year. And Demarest back on top for the first time since the second quarter when they led it two to one. And another faceoff will go by way of Demarest. And that wasn't the story early on. As they keep it down on the ground and give it over to the left side. Swing it over near the goal line extended. Demaris would love to ride this wave and get a third unanswered goal. Now they give it over to X. Minervini again challenging. Here's Skyler. Trying to whip through around the defense, and now they're really forcing him to the outside, back toward midfield. Right back in with Ethan Kim. And now Brett Finetto. Finetto again with those two apples on the day. And again, no shot clock here. A New Jersey high school lacrosse at any boys or girls, so they can take their time, although they are only up by one. But they're trying to force the Spartans to make a mistake here. Finetto. Gives it over to Dickstein. Dickstein trying to cut to the inside. Nearly it's brought down by Minervini. And now another shot goes down low. And Demers the first one to it. So the Norseman will hang on over in their end. This will be a huge win, really, for either team. As we talked about their struggles last season, but both have gotten off to you know, moderately good starts to the year, both with a couple of victories within their first five games, the Norsemen in their first four. And again, trying to get over into that playoff picture. Finetto, looked like he was going to cut inside, now getting hurt. I mean, he's just taking a beating. It's going back towards X. Now another shot up top. Here's White. Gets slammed. White down low and another stop by Actimir. That's number 12. And now Gas, oh my goodness! What a shot by the 13 at the very last second. Talk about a desperation Eve. And Actimir starts it off again with the long pass. There's Ricard going towards midfield. Using the momentum now, Ricard over to Gas. And watch Gas just find a way down low. That's his second of the game. Mikey Ricard now has got two assists. And the sophomore attacker able to tie things up. Gas now with eight goals on the season. Not too shabby for your sophomore campaign. And not too shabby for your fifth game of your sophomore campaign. Multi-goal effort for Gas. So still plenty of time left here in this tight battle. Demarest has played in two one-goal games, beating Pascal Kills 9-8 and losing to West Milford 2-1. to one. Paramus has also won for one in one-goal games, losing 6-5 to five against Wayne Valley and beating Lakeland 6-5. to five. And go figure, those were both against divisional opponents. And for Demarest, one of their games that was one goal was against divisional opponents. As the Curcio seems like, honestly, Looks like it's going to be a very uh, cannibalistic type of division here. I mean, they're just all beating each other up right now. And the Curcio, everybody is hovering right around 500. With Old Zapan 0 and 3, Lakeland 1 and 4, but then everybody else 2 and 2, 2 and 3, and 3 and 2. As we have a timeout called on the field, 8.08 left to go. We'll step aside on Big State.
For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more, for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective. And the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Blue Nail. We're starting to descend into a chillier evening here in Paramus, dropping down to 66, but the action on the field red hot as we're tied at four here in the fourth quarter with, well, 808 at that time left to go, 808s and heartbreaks for one of these teams. And what's certainly going to be a thriller at the very end of this contest. I got Jess, I'm sorry, I'm a fraud. I've never listened to that album, but I know that that's the name of an album. So I used it there. That's, that's called being... Like, well-read as, like, a jack-of-all-trades, but not necessarily diving in. But I'll take it. I had, to, I had to fit some music reference, and I hadn't had one all game. I mean, I guess you could say banger when describing the schedule, but... I mean, if you're not headbanging during Seton Hall Summit on Monday, I don't know what kind of lacrosse fan you are. That is going to be just an electric experience as a football makes its way. We do have some flag football coming up next. Between Paramus and I, I think Ridge. Oh, I was right. Yes, thank you. I saw the jerseys. I'm like, these look like Maroons to me. And that's what they were. We had a great Ridgewood hockey game against Mendham in the early rounds of the Boys Ice Hockey State playoffs over at the Ice House. And the Maroons put on a really good show in that one. I believe their girls lacrosse team was able to win as Gas does it again. Mark Gas, hat trick, man. And he's got five, the fifth goal of the contest for Paramus on his third. I mean, and just talk about clutch goals. From Ricard, Gas again, just dancing around the defense. And he's got all sorts of walls in front of him. And is somehow able to get it around all of them. Nice. How about this game also from Mikey Ricard? He's got three assists and a goal. So Pram is back on top. And the story for them today has really just been the even quarters. Shut out in the first and third, but three in the second and now two in the fourth. One per quarter for Northern Valley Demarest. So we're going to have to buck a trend here. Another shot, down low score! And again, Dylan jumping for Joyce. This is his second of the game, and Paramus up by two. Look at this again, Joyce just running in. Feeds it over the outside, a little pitch and catch. Joyce finds the open lane. And well, 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 it's gas in on the assist. He's got four points. Young team coming through in spades right now in a tight divisional effort. Now under seven minutes left to go. Paramus up by two. Largest lead that any team has enjoyed in this contest. It's been all one goal leads and ties. Now Paramus starting to create a little bit of separation. So you see the shots on goal in favor of Northern Valley Demarest, but Paramus making the most of their opportunities. And Jets, are those shots general or shots on goal? Those are, yeah, that's what I thought. Because only four saves for Bernhau today, but it's been clear that Northern Valley Demarest has gotten more looks. They've also been more on target. Gas behind the net. Paramus has a chance to really snowball here. Back inside of a car, jump, slings, and a save. And now popped up in the air, chance for them to pick it right back up. Now Ricard behind the net as Bernhout made save number five. 
Five of 11 for the number six between the pipes wearing blue. Schechter to Clergis. Clergis gives it over to Mark Gass. Paramus can take their time here, though a three goal lead would certainly be a comfortable cushion for them to rest on and try to ride it for the rest of this game, although they have a sloppy pass. Ball loses momentum right by the sideline and a big play there by Schechter to maintain possession. You know, the ball just kind of died out there at the very end. And I mean, you can't blame it on long grass, it's all turf. And the turf moves rather quickly, especially with the rubber ball, but maybe catch a little break here, Paramus. Home turf advantage, bounces down, they pick it right back up, Schechter. We'll take it back behind the net. It's getting a little crowded back there. As it gets flushed out by Lucas Sands. Now Ricard. Something's down on the field. It's not a flag. Maybe some tape. Over by the 30 near the hash marks. Gas again. Can he make some more magic? As he feeds behind the net, they fake the pass. Gas is like wide open over on the near side. This will bounce through Schechter. Can't save it this time. And another turnover for the Spartans. It'll go back in the Norseman's way. Four sixteen left to go. Northern Valley Demarest having to make up a two goal deficit. Again, the largest deficit that either team has had at any point in this contest. Four minutes remain in the quarter. Brett Finetto. Bakru. Down on the ground again, but Dick Stein is able to recover. And now another look from down low, and it gets, well, it did get over the stick of the netminder, but also feathered around the crossbar. But they'll maintain possession as a crosshead just goes snapping off. I'm actually surprised it's only the first one today. Every game I've covered, there's been at least two or three broken sticks. Bakru. To Marcus White. He's got a couple of goals. He had tied it up at four. Before seeing that uh, that tie eviscerate very quickly. Balled back down. Now Bakru recovers again. Now loses control. That was White. Got a flag on the play, so it's going to be a man up situation forthcoming on this delay penalty. Now shot down low. Whips around scores. Brett Finetto. Joins the scoring party at two assists, and now the freshman brings them one goal closer. And Demarest will also have a man up opportunity. Marcus White is able to heave it over to X. And then Dickstein again up top. Dickstein, that's his second helper of the game. And now fourth of the year. Joseph Zacco for a slash, down one as Northern Valley down one with 3.09 left to go, but with another man up chance, they're one for two today. <laughs> and Paramus says exactly what they need to do after an acrobatic tumble. All right, so we get an illegal procedure going up against Northern Valley Demarest, so Paramus will grab it here with the number 12 of Shane Mancuso. Mancuso, as they try to kill off this penalty, still 50 seconds remaining on the man up for Northern Valley Demarest as they work themselves inside. They'll be five on six offensively. Mancuso trying to weave his way through, triple team now. And still hanging on. Tough cradle, though, as he's back by the boundary. Whips it out of there, sends it down, and it just misses. Crossing that red line, so keeping it in. Where the Norsemen is now, they'll take it the other direction. Great defense there, that time by Mark Gass, just harassing the ball handler. 
Pelioris, right ahead. Pass across, wide open net score! Ryan Skyler, all alone. We're tied up at six. And it's another man up goal for Demarest. Look at the way that they work themselves back down the field. And just sensational execution. And another helper that time from Finetto. As he's got four points on the day. I don't think Skyler could have had any more of an open canvas to make that happen. As we're blitzing our way towards the end of the game. 142 seconds left on the clock. We're tied at six. And what's been the most explosive quarter of action between these two sides all game long. Coming through at the very end, and now a face-off one, a rare win for Demarest. They control. Here's Finetto. Or part of me, Skyler. To Bakru. And again, we see that Paramus has won nine face-offs to the four for Demarest, but the ones for Demarest have all really come here towards the end of the game. Bakru. Finetto. Challenged by Aiello, back to Bakru. Finetto again, having himself some kind of game. Three assists and a goal. So send it over to Marcus White. White, inside, turn around. They look through and the ball came loose. A ghostly interception by Minervini as the ball still scrambling down. And after boxing things out, still couldn't get handled by Jacob Hosey, the freshman. 90 seconds left. Bakru, Demarest have played well in transition as they connect with Dick Stein. He's got two assists off to his left. Palioris. And that would certainly behoove Demarest to slow things down and hand things on over for the final shot. Back behind the net. Minervini still challenging. Working it around the outside, they give it to Bakru. Bakru from downtown, another save, then off the post with a little friendly fire. Save number 13 for Actimir. And we'll stop the clock here one more time on Big State Sports, Northern Valley Demarest, as we get a 30 second timeout. So let's see what's coming up next for these two sides. For Demarest, they'll have another division game three days from now against Lakeland. That'll be a 6.30 tilt as they go back home. And Paramus will challenge the division leaders, West Milford, on the 19th as they'll hit the road. They'll actually have, this is their first of five straight divisional games. Demarest today, West Milford on the 19th, Old Japan on the 22nd, Westwood on the 25th, and Wayne Hills on the 30th. So, chance to really do some damage for Paramus. As Demarest in a similar situation, they're in their second of four straight division games. As they have Lakeland and then Old Tapan on the 25th and then they'll go to Dwight Englewood before going back in the division against Westwood to close out the month of April on the 30th. Then they only have four scheduled games for the month of May, but that could change. Bram is a much more active May, they'll have six games. They got John Dayton, Johnson, Indian Hills, Jefferson, Riverdale, and Passaic Valley. So pretty wild that all the division games will be out of the way in the middle of the season, but that's just the way that the schedule's unfolded. If we go to overtime, two four-minute sudden victory periods. Forty-seven seconds left. Forty-five seconds. Fernando. Back by X. Dick Stein to White. It's a pressure mounting. Ball's back down. Still loose. And it's scrambled up here by Paramus. Paramus in transition. Thirty seconds left to go. They give it to Joyce. Joyce with two goals. Paramus can afford to wait uh, to wait a little bit here. And try to make sure that they get it to the right man at the right time. Shot! And a score! They find the perfect situation early. Paramus up by one. What a great look by Mikey Ricard. Mikey, what a shot. 
So Ricard feeds it inside and he gives it right over to, she uh, to Schechter. Schechter's first goal. Ricard gets another assist. And let's see if Paramus can hang on here. Spencer Schechter, the sophomore attacker, with his fifth goal of the season. Paramus has been great in faceoffs today. If they win this one, they can pretty much seal up the game. It's still down. Paramus trying to gather for it. They fall on top of the ball. Big scramble for it, and now it jostles loose. And it is going to go to Paramus. All they have to do is hang on. Both teams one and one this season, one goal games. But Ken Demarest pull off a miracle late in this contest. We have seen them force a lot of turnovers and then score quickly off them. A thriller in the Kershaw division. Ten seconds left. Racing away. Ricard inside the zone, wasting time. And it's an in and out call, so Demarest will get one more chance. I think with five seconds. Stretch pass, down the field, up in the air, it's a grab, it rolls loose, and that'll wrap things up. The Paramus Spartans with the thriller at home move to two and one in the division. And now we're all alone in second place in the Curcio as they take down Northern Valley Demarest by one and remain undefeated here at home. And what a game all around. We had Gabriel Actemir with 13 saves. We had Mikey Ricard going in with five points on the day, but you'll have to find out who our Blue Nail Series player of the game is by following us on Instagram, at Big State Sports. From all of us here at Big State, from Jess Carfalo on the ones and twos, up top, our associate producer and camera operator, Eye on the Sky, Caitlin Langan. My name is Saxmo, and remind you, as always, to stay frosty, and we'll see you next time here on Big State Sports. Goes over the stick and it'll roll away, but again it's recovered by the Norseman. The Norseman with a methodical attack so far. Again, looking to swing. Now popped up top. Quick shot down low score. We get a shot up top from the point. That's Ryan Scott. Thing affair now. The aggression on defense starting to show, although they gave up a little bit of a gap over on the near side post. Now another shot. And it's forced up high. And Actimir's got five saves in the early going. Sophomore netminder, average Joyce. Joyce crashing in and defenders down. Now Joyce has to dance around a second one, but Stillberger did a nice job filling the gap there. Now they look, gas link score! What a sh Back row again over to Skyler with the only goal in the game. Now to their 49. They've got plenty of time here to move things around with the man advantage. Beautiful point Blake, look, shot score! open so we have some really tight defense coming in from Max Brickman can't quite find it on the drop feints the pass now feeds it over to the top side or rather to the far side for Joyce Joyce cutting in a trio of defenders Joyce still cradle should score what an individual effort by Dylan Joyce elected and that's a nice grab that time by Actimir. He's got his eighth save as we have a long stretch pass. Now here comes Ricard. Ricard unabated coming towards the net. Another shot score! Mikey Ricard, his second point of the game. The junior captain on defense. Back from goal line extended to X. Dick Stein works it around over to the far end. Now back down low. Another shot. Oh, just through the five hole and score! A rare miss on the bounce there. It's been tough. I mean, just even being near him, he punishes you. Now we get another run in, shot down low, little pass to the inside. They penetrate the goal shot and score. Up top look, Marcus White with two goals in a row. Low and another stop by Actimir, that's number 12. And now Gas, oh my goodness. What a shot by the state playoffs over at the Ice House. And the Maroons put on a really good show in that one. I believe their girls lacrosse team was able to win as Gas does it again. Mark Gas, hat trick 
for Northern Valley Demarest. We're gonna have to buck a trend here. Another shot, down low score! And again, Dylan jumping for Joyce. This is his second. Crew recovers again, now loses control. That was White. Got a flag on the play, so it's gonna be a man up situation forthcoming on this delay penalty. Now a shot down low, whips around, scores! Brett Finetto joins the scoring party. Four to wait, uh, to wait a little bit here and try to make sure that they get it to the right man at the right time, shot! And a score! They find the perfect situation early.